Canada is home to the world's largest relatively untouched forest. The boreal zone is home to Earth's coldest forest and stretches across Canada and around the globe covering 1.9 billion hectares globally. And the boreal forest is important. It not only serves as a huge carbon store, but at thriving ecosystems for plants and animals, including over 100 species of birds, mammals like moose and caribou, and 3.7 million people. Between wildfire, weather, and other factors, the boreal forest is constantly changing, but climate change is bringing a new level of transformation. If we think about drought, if we think about fire, if we think about insects, disease, this large tract of forest is contending with all of these environmental threats all the time. But under climate change, at least some of these threats are more severe. So what can we expect in Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba? Well, it largely depends on water. As our climate changes, we can expect milder winters and hotter summers. And the rain we get in the summer may not be enough to compensate for the water loss to evaporation and transpiration. That means a higher risk of drought and wildfire. And those drier conditions have a big impact on the boreal forest. When trees are faced with a lack of water, that's pretty serious, right? Um, those trees are adapted to holding out. They close their um, pores on their leaves to try to prevent water from escaping. But if they do that, they're not gaining sugars from photosynthesis. So they're not gaining the resources they need to grow. And so if we have year over year over year of drought, they're not gaining the resources they need to thrive. Experts say that water stress could make boreal forests across southern Alberta and Saskatchewan more vulnerable to pathogens, wildfire, and even pests. With more extensive wildfires and more severe outbreaks from insects like mountain pine beetles, the forest could lose their ability to regenerate. So what does that mean for our forest's future? There's kind of been emerging evidence that as the climate continues to warm, that the boreal biome might shift northward. And so this would include an expansion of boreal trees and shrubs into Arctic and Alpine tundra in the coldest margins of the boreal forest, as well as potentially a contraction of the forest along the southern margins. With growth to the north and recession to the south, the future health and size of the boreal forest system will come down to a matter of balance and timing. It's just a lot of dynamic change and it's going to take a while for things to kind of settle into any kind of equilibrium. So if you lose an older forest um, here in the south, you don't really have the opportunity to, to make that up really very soon. So that means a lot of species that are depending on older mature forest, especially coniferous uh, forest in particular, there's just less of that um, habitat going to be available in the short term. So with all of this being said, is it too late to save our boreal forests? While some of the changes we're seeing may be inevitable at this point, we can still have an impact. Of course, lowering greenhouse gas emissions is key, but we can also work to protect our boreal forests, especially those that have the best chances of lasting, those with plenty of local water sources and more sheltered topography. Was it ever too late to do something better? I would say no, I'm a little bit of an optimist that way. We can always try to do a little bit better and hope that that's going to have an effect, but we can never wind back the clock.